Hi YouTubers, this is Dave out Western Pennsylvania. I'm a chemistry professor with the University of Western PA USA. I work with, among other things, uh, fuel formulations, uh, gasoline, synthetic gasoline formulations in this particular case. I'm running right now in a 25cc leaf blower four-stroke engine. This is how I do preliminary tests, field tests. I'm running a gasoline formulation which by volume is 87 percent natural gasoline. Natural gasoline is found at the natural gas wellheads and it would be the liquid hydrocarbons that you would uh, associate with natural gas which is mostly methane. So pentane plus or petroleum ether is what it's called in the industry. It's mostly pentanes and some hexanes but low octane number. A modern engine with high compression even a little 25 cc needs 87 octane to run properly or you're going to get engine knock and damage and I'm trying to see at what point I can use the highest, uh, the greatest amount of natural gasoline without engine problems. This formula is by volume 87 percent natural gasoline, 8.7 percent by volume toluene, and 20 milliliters of an aromatic so-called manic base. M-A-N-N-I-C-H, named for Carl Manic. It's a very well-known reaction in organic chemistry. So I have that aromatic uh, base as a candidate oxygenate, and that's at 4.3 percent. All these by volume. The engine is starting up beautifully. We're in the low 80s, a near-perfect day here. Uh, virtually full sunny day with no wind and low humidity. Perfect operating conditions. Will the fuel work at 35 below Fahrenheit? Only time will tell. It, uh, solution is homogeneous of the formulation. It has a slight milky color, but it is clear. Uh, no precipitates to be filtered. And I'll let you listen to the engine. Startup was great. Full throttle. I'll bring it down to idle. This is a relatively new engine too, which is breaking in. It has less than five hours. This is a, a Craftsman 25cc. Manufactured by MTD Southwest. This is a gift from them. And I do preliminary work with this small engine. It has a Walbro carburetor before I scale up the larger engines that I have. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.